Hey guys! Take two. <laughs> Had a train go by and it was super loud. So I have to redo this. I didn't want to because I'm fighting a horrible headache. So I kind of just wanted to have the video done and over so I can go back to sleep. <laughs> but oh well, it's okay. Um, this video is just basically my update for the Booktubeathon, um, which ran last week, Monday through Sunday. Um, I didn't get as much reading done as I wanted to, but I still got more than what I have in a while done. So, um, I'm looking that at that as a positive thing. So, yeah, we're just going to get right into it. Um... Doubling up on, with one book, um, I finished three challenges. Um, I finished, uh, the first challenge, which was read a book with yellow on the cover. Um, for that I switched out Air of Fire for Phantom Thief GN, uh, story and art by Irina Tanamura. I'm horrible at pronouncing foreign to me names. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I really enjoyed this. This was a this was a really cute little comic. Um, I'm pretty sure my library doesn't have any other ones, so I'm gonna have to look up and see if maybe they have it in ebook form because I do want to continue on with this series. Um. So yeah, it was really cute. Um, I read all of this this week. Um, so there's a total of 258 pages for this book. Um, so yeah, uh, that made me happy that I actually finished up another book. Um, the other two challenges that I finished was read a book you discovered through BookTube and read a book by one of your favorite authors. Both of these, Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor, um, fit in because um, I had never heard of this series until uh, Katie Tastic had talked about it and it sounded right up my alley, so I gave it a shot. I read the first book last year and absolutely loved it. Um, why it took me so long to get into the other two books, I don't know. Probably because I was in a slump after that. <sighs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that went for both of those challenges. Um, I did, I finished that one like towards the beginning of the week. I was listening to that on audiobook, so I don't actually know how many pages worth I read. Um, but I know I had read about, or I had listened to about an hour and five minutes of it. So, I mean, I was almost done with the book. So, I don't know if that's cheating, but I guess I'll find that out for next year. But, yeah, I wanted to focus on finishing books anyway. So, um, yeah. So, I got those. And then... I had switched out um, A Court of Thorns and Roses, which I was reading at only at night, with Ghostbusters, which is also a graphic novel, um, because I was finding it hard to read at night. I just basically would come up to bed and pass out. I didn't even have to come up to bed to pass out. I would fall asleep on the couch, too. Um... I don't know if I'm getting sick or something. I really don't know. But, yeah, I only read 11 pages of this, which is really sad because this is a graphic novel. But, like I said, I could only read it at night. So, that's why it didn't exactly work out. Um, with that being said, so I read 11 pages of this, and with that being said, um... I had read some of A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass at the beginning of the week. 
I read 51 pages of this um, before I realized that I just, there was no way I was going to get through it at reading it only at night because I really wasn't reading much at night, which is why I switched to Ghostbusters. So yeah, um, but I did read 51 pages of this this week, so I'm adding that in for total pages that I have read this week. And then the other book, the final book that I had gotten to, I hadn't touched any other books besides these this week, um, uh, is Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass. Um, I read a total of 45 pages of this, and this was going to be um, for Challenge 4 which was read a book by one of your favorite authors because I also love Sarah J. Mass, but I knew I wasn't going to finish it, so I was just focusing on trying to finish challenges, so that's why I switched that out, but I guess it doesn't really matter, but I still read some. I'm 45 more pages into it, and I'm almost halfway done, so the only issues I'm having with this book is I'm not liking the witch's point of view. It's my least favorite part of this series so far I I don't know what it is I just I really I really don't I really don't know why I don't know I guess it's because they're just so cruel um but you know I'm sure it's important to the storyline so I'm fighting against skipping those chapters because, yes, I have considered it. Um, I just wish there wasn't so much focus on it. Um, because I really just don't care about the witch's point of view. I just don't. Um, so, yeah, and that point of view is like every couple of chapters. And I find that. Whenever I get to those chapters, I put the book down and just want to read something else. And it's sad because I love this series. So I'm just going to try and power through it and get this done. And maybe Queen of Shadows won't have as much of that point of view in it. I don't know, but... We'll have to just wait and see. But that's my only problem with this book. Otherwise, I am, I really am thoroughly enjoying it. So, I have no complaints other than I wish there was less of the witch's point of view in here. So, I don't know. I'm sure if they're in here so much, then they're going to be essential to the, to the storyline. So, I guess I'll just have to power through it. And see what happens. So, yeah, that's what I had done for the booktube a -thon. Um, I listened to a total of an hour and five minutes of one book. Um, so however many pages that was, I don't know because I wasn't following along on a book. Um... And then of the other books, I read a total of 365 pages. So, almost a whole book. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, total, not as much read this time, but it was way more than the last readathon than I that I was doing. So, yeah. Alright, and then now I'm just going to go ahead and do my August... TBR because from here on out I am just reading I'm focusing on finishing the books that I have started um, so with that being said Air of Fire is on that list A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas is on that list um, Ghostbusters, I do plan, I do want to finish, and it won't take me long, especially now that I can read it during the day. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and then, I realize that there's a lot of books here, but I'm trying to crush through as much 
of my um, currently reading list as possible. So going beyond those, I mean, which most of these are, well, like all pretty much all of these books are like halfway done. <laughs> so yeah, uh, why I didn't just finish them, I don't know. A lot of the, a uh, few of them are like, I don't want it to end. So, yeah. Um, so the other, another book I'm focusing on is Gathering Darkness, the third book in the Fallen Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes. I now have the next book to this, so I shouldn't have any problems going ahead and just powering through and finishing this either, because I still have a whole nother book to read now. So, yeah. Um, The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Was enjoying this. Got ooh shiny syndrome. <laughs> and just didn't finish it. I'm almost halfway done with this one, too. So, yeah. Um, The Martian by Andy Weir. I am about half, I am like halfway done with this. Need to finish it. Um, so that is on the plan. And then yes, they haven't finished it yet because I know after this it's done. However, I am going, oh my goodness, I am going to be getting the new book. So maybe that'll help me get through this. Um, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I definitely, this was the one I definitely didn't want to get through because this is my first time getting to read this because when I had originally bought this book when it first came out like I had it pre-ordered and everything and got it the day it came out it was stolen <laughs> so I just got this like last summer maybe and probably even later than that I can't remember exactly when it was but um yeah I'm about halfway done with this. It was going slow because I didn't I don't want this to end because it will officially be done once I finish this book. I love Harry Potter so much. Um however, I am going to be getting the um cursed child that comes out this weekend. So yeah, so I need to get, I now I need to get this done so that I can read The Cursed Child. So, yeah. And then I'm also still going to be reading Eye of the World by Rick, Robert Jordan. I keep wanting to say Rick. I don't know why, but it's Robert Jordan. Um, so, yeah. These, so this is what I'm going to be reading from here on through August. So I figured I would just go ahead and put it out there because that is my plan. Plan being the keyword. I don't know if I'll get all of these finished. I plan to get at least some of them finished. So here it is. And just keep in mind Practically all of these are halfway finished. <laughs> so, it's so sad. Problems of a book nerd. My God. So, the this is what I'm going to be reading for the next month, at least. We'll see how much of these I get done. But, they're all great. I just need to finish them. And that is my plan because my currently reading list is absolutely horrible. And this isn't even all the books that are on there. I still have more that I had borrowed from the library. And I have to either get it from the library again or I have to buy my own copy. I know at least one of those books I plan to buy my own copy because uh, my cheaper book buying place finally has it on the shelves 
So I do plan to pick that up too. So yeah, we're going to see how that goes. And that was a feast, a feast of crows. I can't remember something with the crows and the pirates. I was enjoying it and now I can't remember what it's called. Oh my God. I think it was called a feast of throat, a uh, feast of crows or something. I don't know. I can't remember. I'll remember once I'm done recording. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for you. Sorry, this video isn't very exciting. If I move around too much, my head starts to pound. So I'm going to call this goodbye so I can go back to bed and read a little bit, which is probably part of my headache problem. I probably shouldn't read. Oh, well, too bad. <laughs> All right. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.